Have you guys ever taken a picture outside and everything looks great except for the sun makes like really dark shadows under people's eyes and it looks horrible? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to Flurm. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNace or you can find me here at Flurm making awesome videos to help you out with Photoshop and photography and life and happiness and uh, drinking coffee apparently is in the video today. I got some exciting news. I'm gonna be in San Francisco this coming weekend um, doing an awesome uh, kind of secretive photography mission there and uh, it's gonna be really great. So if you guys are in San Francisco or the area and you wanna meet up, send us a message here or on Twitter or Flickr or uh, Facebook, we check them all. Um, it'd be really cool to meet up and meet some of you guys who are in the area. And also we posted a new article today. It's on photography, in a candid party situation. So like if you're going to a party, taking awesome candid photography, awesome candid photos in that situation, and we've got a new contest with that too. So we're gonna link to that below. Check it out, it's a great article. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in Photoshop. So we have an image here. This is, Angela took this image and um, it's of her friend Alex and he likes the image a lot. It's just, he's got those like dark circles under his eyes. So this is something that um, I'm sure you guys have probably struggled with because I have too. Um, the, the thing we need to fix here mostly is the line that's right here under his eyes, that's not really gonna be able to, we're not gonna be able to fix that because if we do, we'll wind up just having to paint it by hand. And in that case, like we're not professional painters and it's probably gonna look bad. So what we wanna do instead is even out the shadows and the highlights. So what we're gonna try to do, well, we actually are gonna do it, is we need to select out those highlights and then select out the shadows and then we're gonna use those different ranges to kind of even out the skin tone. So let's start with that. I'm gonna create a new layer. We're gonna just go up here and I'm gonna grab a curves adjustment layer. Okay, so our curves adjustment layer, you guys know how this works. Drag it up, makes things brighter. Drag it down, makes things darker. Okay, now what I wanna do is make sure I have a selection. So I'm gonna take the highlights and make them a little bit darker, take the shadows and make them a little bit lighter and it's gonna even everything out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to select and then down here to color range. Okay, and then we're gonna click like right here in the highlights of his face. There we go, and we'll bring our fuzziness up here. I'm okay selecting out a little bit more than just the highlights. Okay, so we're gonna hit okay, and that's got our selection loaded into the layer mask. So if you hold down alt or option, you can click on the layer mask, and you can see the selection right there. Okay, so the light areas get selected, the dark areas do not get selected. Now, with your curves adjustment layer, you can click right here in the middle and just kind of start and drag this down a little bit. Now, don't go too far, because it's gonna start looking horrible. <laughs> so. Um, Stay away from horrible. That would be my first recommendation. Um, and you wouldn't think this. It's like, okay, some people have dark, you know, the dark area under their eyes. You wouldn't think you need to darken anything. You'd think you need to lighten that. But by going both, like halfway, it's going to look a lot more natural. So this is our first step. Just kind of takes this. Maybe I can go a little bit darker with that. It's going to take those lights and just make them a little bit darker. And you can see it, it's just, it's all of its relative. It's, it looks better relatively now than it did before. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna create an adjustment layer. We're gonna go to curves, and uh, I'm gonna select out those darks now. So we have this selected, I'm gonna go select, we're gonna go down to color range again, and I'm gonna select out the darks. It should look a little bit weird, like it should look basically inverted um, from what we had before where the darks are selected. So we're, we're gonna hit okay, and now we're gonna bring those a little bit lighter. So again, alter option, that's what our layer mask looks like. So now what we're gonna do right here on the layer mask is just take this and drag it up a little bit, and that's gonna help lighten up the darks just a bit. All right, so we're definitely getting something that's a lot more even now. The problem that we're gonna have, guys, is this is gonna affect the entire photo and it might make parts of the photo look a little bit weird. Like the hair, we wanna keep that a little bit darker. I'm okay with that. So you can go on your layer mask here and just paint black on the layer mask. Black makes things invisible on a layer mask. White thing makes things visible. So this lightening effect that we've got going on, I don't want this to be visible like under someone's chin, it can make them look a little bit, um, like if they don't have a shadow under their chin, kind of presses them back and makes them look a little bit worse. So we wanna be sure that they still have that shadow. Um, and then, you know, the, the darks are looking good there as well. So we've already done like most of the problem. If you wanna go in and fix a little more, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but let's hold alter option, click on the before and the after. So you can see already we've fixed quite a bit of the problem. It's just, it's a more even photo. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Like if I grab my brush tool and I try to like paint out this, um, this shadow there. The reason why this isn't 
going to look great. Uh, first is because I'm not a professional painter. So, um, you know, it, it, this will be limited by your own painting abilities. Like how well you can paint this shadow out will be limited to like, you know, how you, well you can actually do this sort of thing in, in Photoshop and make it look real. But the other thing is your mind's not like, your mind's pretty sharp, right? It knows that if there's a hard shadow here, there should be one on the eyes as well. So like you can't just get away with painting away one area that has a hard shadow, even though that doesn't look like absolutely horrible. Um, you, you see this other hard shadow and you're gonna know like, okay, you need that too. By the way, I'm just grabbing the brush tool and then gra grabbing the um, eyedropper tool and kind of sampling and just painting it around those little areas. So nothing too complex here, what I'm doing, but if you did like, if you really didn't like those hard lines, you could do something like this, but I would recommend lowering your opacity to at least 50% so it's not so visible. So like you get some of that, but it's not, it's not gonna overpower your image. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna use some curve adjustment layers and uh, I'm just gonna take up our brightness here and uh, we'll just brighten up these eyes. So I'm gonna invert the layer mask by hitting Command I and then uh, we'll just brighten up yes. the eyes a little bit there. All right, and we'll lower the opacity just a bit on that. Okay, so that's our image, guys. Let's show you the before and the after. Very cool. So you can see by taking those brights down and making the darks a little bit lighter, you bring everything back to the normal. And although the lighting is still relatively the same, you know, with the lines everywhere, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look bad. It looks quite a bit better than it did before. So sometimes you got to think in the inverse. If you guys like this, we have many, many more videos here at flurn.com. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. We'll flurn you later.